Felicitaciones. Congratulations. You're on the way to learning or improving your Spanish. I'm James Archer, founder of the ShareLingo Project, and I've just sent you a very simple but very important PDF. It's called Micro Immersion, and it will help you take gradually bigger bites of the Spanish language with a serious focus on listening practice. There may be many reasons why you want to learn Spanish. For me, it was to travel to other countries and uh, meet other people and experience other cultures and never be worried about finding food or getting back to my hotel. Um, maybe you're a nurse or a school teacher or pastor or whatever and you work with Spanish speakers a lot. Whatever your reason is for wanting to speak Spanish, there is a very important step that you can take right now, today. And that is to commit to listening to Spanish whenever possible. This is part of the process that I used myself when I was starting to learn Spanish. I was 53 years old at the time, and now I'm fluent. Listen to this. Hola, yo soy James, y yo puedo hablar en español con fluidez. No necesito pensar antes de hablar. This means, hi, I'm James, and I can talk fluently in Spanish. I don't have to think or translate in my head before I talk. The point is that you can do this too. No matter what you may have tried in the past, you can do this. I know, I did it after failing many times before that. I know you want to start speaking, and we can help you with that too, when you're ready. But for today, make it your goal to start listening. It will pay off in huge dividends as you go down your path. This listening practice is simple and easy. It serves several purposes. Yes, you will gradually learn more vocabulary, but you will also be tuning your ear to the rhythm and sounds of Spanish. Look, you won't be able to have a conversation with someone unless you can understand what they say, right? Well, don't worry um, at all if at first you don't understand everything or anything. Your goal is to be able to gradually pick out more and more individual words as you hear them. When you can hear individual words, you can go look them up if you want to. But first, you want to hear them. Then, when you're ready for more help, if you want to meet a native Spanish speaker to practice with, we're here for that too. This board behind me is from a group of English and Spanish speakers that met here last night to practice with each other. One of the words that came up was refrigerator, and in Spanish, refrigerador. Um, they were happy to know that they could just say fridge. But for now, today, start listening. Good luck, and remember to enjoy it. Saludos. Have a beautiful day.